Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we are going to learn what an earthquake is and why it is caused. Did you know that the floor we walk on lies over gigantic rocky plates that look like a jigsaw puzzle and are called tectonic plates? These plates float over magma, an extremely hot material that is found in liquid or viscous form because of its tremendously hot temperature. These plates have great cracks separating them, called plate boundaries, and this is where all seismic movements or earthquakes originate from. And depending on the movement that they make, they can produce different effects. When the tectonic plates shift in opposite directions, they are called divergent plate boundaries, and the magma rises towards the surface, cools down and dries, then a new floor is formed, like these islands you can see here. When the tectonic plates bump into each other, they are called convergent plate boundaries, and form a collision area where new mountains or mountain ranges like the Himalayas or Alps are formed. They can also trigger volcanoes and earthquakes. When tectonic plates slide sideways or along the plate boundary, they are called transform plate boundaries and they are responsible for seismic movements. When they rub against each other, they rotate and create friction that in some cases can result in catastrophic earthquakes. Earthquakes can be more or less severe. The weakest earthquakes can hardly be felt. But unfortunately, some of them are very violent and cause great disasters, destroying buildings, roads, schools, entire cities have been destroyed after some earthquakes. In an earthquake, we can differentiate two parts. The hypercenter, which is the point in the earth where the earthquake originates from, and the epicenter being the point on the earth's surface, vertically above the hypercenter. This point is where the earthquake is most intense and the greatest damage is caused. We also call earthquakes seismes, and the people who study these are called seismologists. On Earth, there are more than 2,000 observatories that study and follow earthquakes up close. Actually, each year, there are thousands and thousands of earthquakes being registered, but the great majority are so small, we can hardly feel them. The seismograph, or seismometer, is the instrument used to measure the earthquake's intensity. Invented in 1842 by the Scottish scientist James David Forbes, it measures the seismic waves that earthquakes cause. Over time, these instruments have been perfected to the point that some can measure earth tremors as small as one that Daniela can cause by jumping. Look, look! Funny, huh? Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.